Right! I was in the Pleasure Palace last time! Do you think we've done something wrong? Because I was trying to get information out of the, uh... Out of these two. Or something along those lines. Citizen... Monsieur Chapeau? Let's see. Enjoy the fiddling. Throw a few coins our way and let us play on into the night. Uh, what of you, madam? Queen Roll the Despoiler. You can stare as much as you like. Look, don't touch. And no, not in the Hello. My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. What kind of services do you provide? I, I'm more curious about how did you end up here. I used to work as a courtesan back home, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdark's matriarchs, so we fled. We found surfaces crave the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. As long as you're here of your own free will. Life is prosperous. I'm much happier kissing the many lips of the surface than tending a field or manning a shop. If you're truly pleased with the work here, I can't judge. Uh, I'm glad you found a safe. I, I, I'm, glad, I'm glad you found a place you feel safe. I'd have to restrain myself far more than any play bindings do if I worked in another field. This is a place where I can be myself, boundlessly. There are so many who come to me speaking of a fixation that no one else has ever been able to share with them. And never will again. A once-in-a-lifetime moment of passion. Every day. What could be better? Don't you want to try it? Trust me. You don't want to miss my signature Mesoberanzan love trick. Damn. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. Uh, Carlac, how do you feel about this? <laughs> the hell are you? You still look uncannily alike. We are twins. Uh... There's no real, like... I, I, <laughs> there isn't really a, a neutral, non-judgmental response here. It's either... It's, it's either judgmental, 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 or NICE! Well, up to you, chat. Do I go with the three judgmentals or I go nice? Is the uh, is the extension working? The extension is not working. Okay, usually when you switch it to Baldur's Gate, it does that automatically. I can't see it. All right, let me get that fixed real quick. Extensions. Yeah, it's not on there. Activate. Set as overlay one. Done. Okay, try refreshing. It should be there now. Let me take the voting... Oh, I can't take the voting widget away once it started. <laughs> this is gonna say so much about chat. Apparently, it's still not working for this question. I guess I had to do it before. I guess I had to activate it before I, I did the question. I'm just gonna say... Delicious. Our bodies will... <laughs> of course, Carlyck -like disapproves. Agreement? What kind of agreement? 
We want both of you, silly. At the same time. A brother and a sister at the same time. Damn it. Yeah, no. You do your thing, but that's not mine. Uh. Hold on. Balder. I did change the, the game to Baldur's Gate, but for some reason it changed it back after I already saved it. You sure you won't, you won't be upset if I choose to partake? Upset? I guess not, as long as everyone's, uh, you know, above board. I get the appeal in theory, but the reality makes me want to take a lie bath. We will only allow that if we know there is an evening of exceptional pleasure awaiting us. Usually, one darling alone is not enough to match the two of us. Uh, I'm gonna leave for now. Return to us if you have a lover willing to take part. I'm assuming, I'm assuming a starring would be all over that. And Lizel would see it as a challenge. Woo! What's up, dudes? <laughs> At the ready. Can't do anything the normal way. I had to jump across here. Human citizen, Irenia. It's a fist here, Camilla. Damn, hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Something's off about this one. On your guard. Oh. It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. Ah. Good to see you again. Even if you have put me out of pocket. The boss bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. Who are you exactly? Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time, have a drink, sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Hmm. All right. What about you, Fist? Uh, fist? You're looking parched, sweetheart. Another tankard? Hells, darling. Another sip and I'm like to spill over. But other anchoring for spicier flavors. How about you give me a taste? Hmm. I want to see how she handles this, because cl clearly she's a professional. I shouldn't be jumping into White Knight immediately. Would you say, doll? Have a sit on my lap. Let's see what pops up. Darling, how you set me a quiver. You are a beast among men. No, a dragon setting my phoenix nest aflame. <sighs> I shall slake your thirst, dragon. You will part your lips and drink of my essence. Oh, I will drink your essence. Hoots, order up another tankard for the fish. And there we go. Bravo. My hands are full, sweetheart. You want a drink? Hoots is your woman. You want pleasure? See Mamzella Myra. Hey, Hoots. Now, that there's a face I'd remember if I'd seen it. Welcome to Charesse's Caress. What can Hoots do for you, stranger? You got a taste for ale, I reckon. Or maybe... Ah, forget it. My new brew could drop you in the wink of a spectator's eye. Uh, your new brew sounds potent. I'll give it a try. What's the story behind this place? I bet a barkeep hears a lot of stories. Might be 
business is slinging tankards, not hoarding secrets. I'd like to keep it that way. What's the story of this place? Charest Caress, the Mamsel's brainchild. Wet your tongue, soak your skin, scratch your itch. Get the attention you want and avoid the attention you don't. Uh, show me what you have. You got it. But the new hooch is off limits. Can't have the mams all leaping down my throat if I go burning yours. Uh, okay. Oh, she got coffee. Could have had girl dinner this way. She's also got plenty of, of coins, so I could take this opportunity to sell some stuff. Ring of truthfulness. I feel like I should have been wearing that a long time ago. Ring of arcane synergy. Wait, no, I this is the window I want. Graceful cloth. What do I have right now? The po the potent robe. I'll take the graceful. I'll sell the graceful cloth. Uh, Staff of arcane blessing. Staff of crones. The blade of the oppressed soul. Plus one weapon enchantment. It does initial one d four psychic damage. It's a long sword. I think anybody I have would be decent with that. Necklace of elemental augmentation. What am I currently wearing? The spell restoration one. I should keep that and hold on to these two ones that restore. I should also sell these. Absolute outfit. I was holding on to that as a disguise. Iron bowl for some reason. Grease bottle. I sell both of those. Uh, malachite. A pearl. A peridot. Poutine! Woglims. Oh, it's wait, is this the fireworks? Sends a small rocket at a foe blasting away and inflicting color spray. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh Starion's got nothing I really want to sell. Unless I've got two shovels for some reason. Do I have two shovels? I do have two shovels for some reason. I'll keep Carlax pants. Uh the half plate. That's really it. Balance the offer and barter. Pleasure to serve. Uh, I do wanna. Looking. Ah, forget it. I'd like to see what else you have. You... Have a look. Okay, for there, there, so there's two options just to just to shop from her. Looking. Ah, forget Show me what you have and I'd like to see what else you have are the are the same thing. You in the wink of a spectator's eye. Don't know about that, chum. Hoots hooch packs a stronger wallop than all ten of my knuckles. Could beef you up, sharpen your tongue, or knock you out cold. No telling till the first drop hits your gullet. I'll, t I'll quick save and then take my chances on the hooch. Yeah, the man knows what he wants. First one's on the house. So. Don't come bawling to me if your big toes fall off or your tongue coils in a knot. Wait, what? Do I have it? Hoots hooch. Yeah. Whoops, 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 whoops. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, latest? What do we got? New invention of the Charesses Caresses bartender like being decked uh, in the sobriety. I mean, it's like this is a, this counts as like a potion. Yeah, it's not even like a. I'm just gonna take a sip. I'm just gonna swig. Characters attack you in melee become nauseous. Wait, that gave me a wild magic surge. Did it give me anything else? Might you, citizen? Oh! Well, another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. 
afraid so. I found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies okay. insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Found the murder weapon you missed in the tunnel under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? Board of sermons could have to do with helping uh, refugees. How about the shape shaving assassin of the temple? That good enough for you? Why was he killed? Could be the, uh, to do with how he was helping refugees. How about the shape-shifting assassins out of the temple? Mmm. Oh, two or three seem like a uh, pretty good there. How about the shape-shifting assassins out of the temple? That good enough? No. I want proof. If someone else killed Logan, I want you to tell me why they did it. Come back when you've got some real evidence. So let me try one more time. I presume you've found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again. Group of Shay says word of the Tangle along with more murder victims. While that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgor killed Father Logan, does it? That's what you need if you want to change my mind. Hard evidence. I spoke to the both corpses. They were killed by a red. dwarf and uh, dressed Why in red. Was uh, he's that doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Logan? I need something more than vague allegations. I want something compelling. Hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. I haven't found anything of note. It was the height of arrogance, then. Alright, so I guess I gotta go back to the crime scene, and, or, or I gotta find the dwarf. Uh, just citizenry. I'm looking for people to- Dang it, I want to talk to people in this brothel! Anybody out here who wants to talk? It's all citizenry. Charessus caress upper floor. Elminster's library. Moan loudly in the library at all times. Oh my god. Uh, hello? Hey, boy, what you got there? You got your toy! Oh my goodness. Ready? Ready, buddy? Go get it. Uh, rules of the reading room. Anyone caught pleasuring themselves in the library be tethered to the bookcase of, uh, of chain books. Any wizard caught examining the special collection without express permission will be commanded to read aloud the whole library, uh, to the whole library the passage they were enjoying. Anyone breaking the silence of the library will be promptly gagged. Stack of scrolls. A scroll dimension door that I apparently can just take anything from here. Yoshimo is willing. This book is re uh, redolent with enticing smell of paper and ink. Do I want to read this? Revisionist sensation uh, novella with a blurb. In this alternate history sex adventure, the one uh, and only Yoshimo does not betray Balspawn. In fact, he does almost anything the Balspawn asks for, uh, for very readily. What else do we got? Overlapping lines. This publication describes itself in the introduction. A semi-annual magazine of drawings and tales telling stories of famed heroes of Baldur's Gate by their admirers open uh, to submission from the public. Uh, Sorcerer Scales with Charisma. Born to be wild. This unlicensed and completely and certainly libelous pamphlet describes its contest. In this magical adventure, the one and only Elminster explains the inaccuracies to Volo of his uh, accounts using of the mating rituals of the Feywild with very graphic demonstrations. 
Sponge. A surgery kit? Wardrobe? St uh, strapped choker leather. Ensemble. Black flare le I'm, you know, I'm just gonna take these for personal use. <laughs> Car like this, like that. A starian like that. What do we got here? A conical flask. What's hiding here? Back of scrolls. Uh, scroll of fly. Might as well. Uh, the one that got a thay. Let's read. The text is written on the back of this smut, uh, the text written on the back of this smut advertises it. A slow-paced enemy to lover's tale featuring bitter archwizard of Thay and his nemesis, a pure-hearted muscled berserker. The Hunter's Piercing Gaze. This pamphlet is a description of the increasingly feral debate between two admirers on whether or not the color of Drizdo Urden's eye color is aquamarine, cerulean, vermilion, or amber. Presumably that's somebody whose eye color changes. There's a dog collar. Fion's journal. He's getting worse. The whispers, the night terrors, the blood. I know he's hiding something, and the others uh, in the flop house know it too. I've seen how they look at him, how they look at me. They're scared of him, and I can't blame them. I am too. There's a locked door here. Am I going to encounter things I don't want to see? No, oh, I just got the room key so I can go pretty much wherever. Oops! Lovely. And nice. Well, let's see, do we go up and talk to them while they're having their private time? I think that might bode ill. Don't fret. You don't have to think about a thing. I want to, but I just have such a headache. <laughs> Ooh! I wish I could kiss you better. I mean, to try. Let's see if they need any help! Hello! Mm -hmm. Tell me, am I beautiful? More than beautiful. You are the aurora stretched across the north skies. You are the golden dune swept across the Kalim. You are the fruit of the forbidden palm. Soft on my skin. Sweet on my tongue. You are my sin and salvation. Oh, hi there. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. Ow. What's... What's wrong, Jara? What are you? Wait. I know you. <laughs> Looks fun. Mind if I join? <laughs> well, I'll leave that up to you guys. Hopefully the uh, hopefully the extension works now. <laughs> this looks personal. I should leave. I have the overall final say, but I'm 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 feeling Whoever you think I am, you're mistaken. Your face. The absolute has shown me. Joe, what's going on? Who's this man? Your head screams in agony. Change has come. Pus 
tools boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. What's happening? You should go. Another quake. Wait, are they like stunned or something? What's with the What's what what is with it? What's with the Starion? <laughs> I'm gonna move a Starion here. And he gets advantage because he's going before this person. So, why don't we go in for the ranged attack? 91% chance to hit. Should I use a different arrow? Construct slaying, arrow of acid. No, that would splash. Arrow of fire, all caught in the flames. I'm hoping I could find one that only does. Actually, let's do the. What do you mean, not enough space? I'll just, I'll just take the normal shot. How much does he have left? Eleven? Bingo! Bingo! Major Mooch, thank you for the 14 months of uh, Prime saying HOIVES! Oh, HOIVES! Hashtag HOIVES! I lead it! Thank you for the raid! Get this going up in here. I'll get this going up in here. Bingo! Captain Joe, thank you for the 84 months of Tier 1 as we are, you know, dying. Why is he afraid? What is happening with a lot of this? What's going- What have you done?! On! Ma'am? Are you okay? Hells. I'd heard tales of mind flayers. Talons sharp as daggers and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tale did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. And just like that, she has a new kink. I could have killed you and you're musing on its beauty? <laughs> they are beautiful indeed, and most lethal. Is it not in the Elithid's barbarity that we find its splendor? Your eyes are no less monstrous, I assure you. A lesser woman might be frightened, but I am no lesser woman. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens, and your heart skips a beat. Failed the insight. <laughs> Damn, you're almost as disturbing as the Mind Flayer. Here you go, bud. Manatee. Go get it. Go get it. You just gotta sit there? What are you doing? Well, then I'm glad you're safe. As am I. My thanks are as bountiful as your courage. Take these. May you have some comfort in bitter times. Be well. Be beautiful. Oh, sweet handcuffs! What'd you give me? Superior elixir of arcane uh, cultivation. Gain additional level three spell slot. Well, thank you. One moment, forever emblazoned on my memories. I won't soon forget it. Well, I mean, let's see what the fist had on her. A ring. A ruby ring. Uh, Autumn Crocus. Shabby wardrobe. Man, I just want a- I just want a cool hat, you know? I'm gonna rub the oil lamp. I could find a genie in there. An ordinary lamp. Not a trace of magic on it. I use the Charesses Caress room key. It does offer a lovely view.
Gotta remember to be careful when when going back to uh, to my camp, as I have that one statue of myself naked. All right, there's one other room in here that I want to check out. Ah, the Devil's Den. Yes, L who wants to go see Raphael? The answer is nobody. Devil's Den. Nobody wants to go see Raphael. Oh God! One, one moment. I think I should bring Lizelle to this. Ah, oh, Kithrag Voss, eh? Lizelle? Boulder's gate at last. We should find Charesse's caress. Voss will be waiting. Yep, that's why I'm bringing you along. Make space. And my might is yours. Take Shadowheart's place for the Ready time being. For oh, and she levels up too. Gains a new feat because she's at level eight. Uh, fighter. What would be good? I gave her a great weapon master. Sentinel wouldn't be bad considering that she's always in fights with people. I think Sentinel would be good for her. Level 9. She gets the Indomitable uh, feature. You've got, uh, become durable as an iron golem. Whenever you fail a saving throw, you can roll again take the new result instead. Subclass feature, improved combat or improved combat maneuver, gain uh, superiority dice is increased to D10. Also increases misses you, you can spend a superiority die to retaliate. Pushing attack, push them back four and a half meters. Precision attack, you can spend a superiority die and add to the result of the attack roll. That'd be good in case of an emergency. And distracting strike. Hey guys, how you, how's it hanging? You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. <laughs> I love the texture I of the rose petals on the stairs. Pain. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. What did he do? Is it just me and him now? Is my party gone? First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. Just cure me the tadpole with a click of your fingers? <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? 
But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. Huh. What's the catch? Trust the Illithid more than I trust you. Then speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. Clever, but when we first met, you promised a cure. This isn't a cure. Speak freely. Tell me why you brought me here. I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Mm -hmm. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. The Astral Prism? In a manner of speaking. But it's the one inside the prism that you need. Not the Illithid. The Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. Orpheus's guards tried to kill. Why? Why would I want him? Why? What I want to know is why does he want him free? Orpheus's guys guards try to kill me. He's dangerous. Go on. The Orphic Hammer, an artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus, is held securely in my house of hope even now very convenient you have exactly what i need isn't it just and it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what i want in return there it is of course what do you hope to get out of all this I suppose you want my soul in exchange for the hammer. Just tell me what you want. I'm not bargaining with you, Raphael. Just tell me what you want. I want the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kalir. I'm tempted, but why are you so eager to get a hold of the crown? What exactly is the crown? It'd be insane to give such a powerful artifact to a devil. What exactly is the crown? Power. Ancient. And full of wonder. I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it long centuries ago. And brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity. And Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky like angels with broken wings. So take those broken wings and learn to fly again. Oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> It was not a happy meeting, and Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. He forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then 
that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils, and that I could use that crown to unite the nine under one. Archdevil Supreme, me. <laughs> Zariel wouldn't like that much. But even I'm not so desperate to spite her I'd put the hells in this bastard's hands. The idea of you ruling the nine hells is a film with joy. They can make a fantastic Archdevil Supreme. What makes you think you'd, uh, you'd succeed in using the crown where Karsis couldn't? Why didn't you take the crown there and then? I'll take the crown and use the power myself. The idea of you ruling the nine hells doesn't fill me with joy. The hells require order to function. It is what separates us from mortals and demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. Why haven't you gotten a hold of the crown already? It was stolen from right under my nose all those centuries ago. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged, but only for a decade or so. Then I waited, ever watching for more than a thousand years for a mistake, a mishap, a misadventure. And these chosen, who have caused you so much trouble accidentally, did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. It's really annoy you that some mortals managed to steal the crown when you couldn't. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> But it seems rather angry. You ever see a brain get mad? It is inevitable. All the wrinkles curl into angry you eyebrows. Destroy the brain, and you will, because you must. The crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flayer in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the Hells, but can he be trusted to stop them? That's what I was thinking. Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Squaw! We should do as the Devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. Agree with the deal, where do I sign? I'd rather destroy the crown than risk falling into the wrong hands. I'll control the crown myself once I have the Reverie, Reverie Stone. As much as it goes against, uh, uh, what Lysel wants. I agree that I'd be dooming the entirety of this plane if Raphael were to get his hands on such a powerful artifact. No deal, I'm leaving. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Devils are very deliberate about their, uh, about their deals. So, trying to, like, double-cross him is not a smart idea. Anyway, um, I'll be right back. Manatee is whining at me. Be right back. We're back. And Lysel wants to speak and is probably angry at me. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp. And you refused it. Why? 
Because we don't need the deal, we could take the hammer out from the House of Hope. I don't trust the devil, the Orphic hammer is probably worthless. I'm not about to let Raphael become the Arch Devil Supreme. I'm questioning it myself, it's not too late to change my mind, is it? Because we don't need the deal, we could take the hammer from the House of Hope. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githgar Tafki crash it. The Githyanki will be free. Orpheus will probably- There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. It was Raphael. Raphael? Well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? Ah, uh, he offered me a deal. He knows that he knows how to free Orpheus. How very gumptious of him. What were the terms of this deal? Offer the means to free Ori Orpheus in exchange for the crown on top of the brain. Tell me, you turned him down. I turned him down. Good. I am glad. But be careful. The devil is like a cockroach. No matter what you do to it, it will always come back. I doubt this will be the last time you are approached. I doubt it too. I trust that you will continue to remember who is really on your side. Without my protection, you cannot defeat the Elder Brain. You cannot even get close to it, no matter what the devil whispers in your ear. So, the issue I have with the Emperor is that he's still trying to push me toward like becoming an, an Illithid. I don't want to do that. I would much rather... F my... The thing that I like I would like most to happen is that I free Orpheus and uh we and I end up uh I end up like allying with him because that's what Lizelle wants and I want what's good for my party. That's that's really the, the meat the meat and potatoes of it. I want what's good for my party. Nobody wants to come become part uh part illithid. Not without like a lot of convincing. Hey. You paid Raphael a visit. I want to hear all about it. Oh, where's oh yeah, where's uh, where's Voss? Is he still here? Talk to Raphael to reconsider his deal. No, I want to talk to Voss. Where is he? Voss is up here, okay. There he is. I ran right by him. I'd rather talk to Voss first before I Voss. talk to her. Friend to the comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Oh, well, that's nice. Tell me you took the devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Oh my god, his ear. Uh No, I'll find another way to liberate Orpheus. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the first mother's son. Gith cards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. Orpheus sends the tadpole before and his art attacked. Won't he attack if we free him? The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name, but he will see reason. 
I promise you. I don't remember what happened to Voss to, where he got those scars and lost part of his ear. Did he? Was he always like that? An idea where Raphael might keep the Orphic Hammer? A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istic. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time. And mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. Come here, I'm not going to start an argument. I just want to know why you turned the boss down. Doesn't matter why, my word is final. No deal. Did he tell you to try to win me over with your charms? Cheeky. We might be in a brothel, but I'm not that kind of gal. You should reconsider, though. The boss might be a devil, but he'll treat you more honestly than anyone else in the city. What exactly is it you do for him? Plenty. But right now, I have one job. You. I'm talking to you openly. Mortal to mortal. And I'm begging you to sign the contract. If the brain wins, the Illithid Empire returns and worlds you've never even dreamed of will die. Raphael can stop it. He wants to. And he knows how. You're the key. You always have been. Then why make demands of me instead of just helping? He's a devil. It's his nature. He needs to get his due. I'll stop the brain without his help. I don't believe a devil cares about the fate of the world. Well, no, I, that, that I don't believe. I believe that a devil does have reason for mortals to stay alive. But I'll stop the brain without his help. I doubt it. But even if you do, you won't survive the fight. I'd reconsider if I were you. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna go to the flop house to find... This Thodric, uh, Thodric shit Shediver. Finest fish caught this morning. What'll it be? Covered in blood, my good sir. And you got the trade. Fish and 300 gold. But fish! I've had this strange chunk of amber for a while. I don't remember what it's for. Uh, alright. There's probably a lot of stuff here that I'd rather sell. What boots does Carlac have normally? Me sweat. He's got the Misty Step ones. But she has a shield, so I don't really have much use for the Bone Spike boots. There was that Bone Spike armor as well. Susser Greatsword. The Corpse Grinder. These actually aren't worth that much either way. I will get rid of the Woodwode shield, though. I still got the Psionic Warrior armor. He doesn't have nearly that much money, though. Balance offer. Boss, huh? Alright, alright. Fresh catch every day! I'm actually gonna head back to camp so I can switch Lizel out for, uh, for, uh, Shadowheart again. I also want to get everybody's opinions on the deal with the devil. Shout at the devil! Darling? Uh, okay. that, there's nothing, like, really there about that. Somebody does have something to say, though. It's Will! Probably about the deal with the devil! Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? 
Hell's Gate was a safe refuge when I left it. It must be Gortash is doing. The refugees can go elsewhere. A city's crisis has no right to, has a right to secure itself. Refugees with re uh, reasonable leadership. What a shame Baldur's gave it as a responsibility to its people. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. So, well, just real quick, do you think we could get, like, a bone saw and, like, give those horns a trim? You think it to be true? Duke Stelmain has, uh, allied with the Emperor? Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmain allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or, maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Did you know Stelmain very well back in the day? I met her twice. The first time, I was a boy of seven or eight, at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds, as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmain was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim? I asked Father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. I sense there's a bit more to this story. I'll friends him. Why shouldn't I? Mm, something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmay didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Hmm. Short on sympathy, she was partners of the Mind Flayer, the Emperor, no less. Gone before her time, it sounds like. What a tragedy. If Stelman was suffer, maybe... Uh, yeah, gone before her time. Not a tragedy. A calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was Tadpole. Stelman is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy his father would say. These murders aren't random acts. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. Okay. Well, I got that. I got I got what I needed out of that. What is There we go. It's hard to, I All's well, I hope. I always rec from the obvious. I always recognize Shadowheart by her uh, by her black hair. Now that it's white, I have trouble uh, finding her in a crowd. The dance card is full. Lose a partner and there'll be room. Lead Lizelle will leave. I'm very curious. I just need to make sure of one thing really quick. Is it accessibility that has the No. Yes, it does. Oh my god, thank goodness I caught this! That is a clothing option. Interesting. Well, the good news is she's got a shield, so if this does show anything, it won't come up. Never mind, it came up anyway. 
I'm presuming- I'm assuming that if I didn't have the show nudity thing off, then that top would not be there. No, it would? Okay. Uh... right. Out we go. Ah! Alright, um... I'm here. I won't let anything happen to you. Look at you. You're exhausted. You've been... The missus and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. What say you, Rilia? Looking for lodgings? Don't bother. All the decent places are gone. Damned coronation. Damned coronation indeed. Hear me out. Jaress's caress. The flop house. I found Adventurers. So victims for Casador here. Staying in a brothel. They're the kind of people no one would ever miss. Oh, I can't sit here. Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. Uh, why won't they let you in? Sounds like someone forgot the paperwork. Adventurers should get special treatment. There's no respect here. My magic could level the city, but I'm treated like a commoner. You're damn right. I can't believe they wouldn't let us in. The bridge guard chatted some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. What of you, madam? Rosanna. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim. And his bleeding notions. His bleeding heart. A dwarf dressed in red. Traveler Griska. Word to the wise. Give that ill make to Temple a wide berth. Room buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. To be fair, their high priest just died. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. Not the priest, but we're meant to be more polite. So did I. What's your trade? Let me show you. <laughs> she just strips. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Ma'am! Pleasure doing business. Where did he go? Excuse me! Oh, you're not a dwarf. So, good. So, uh, give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. I thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. Uh, do you know, uh, uh, uh... I'm looking for a killer. A dwarf dressed in red, just like you. How dare you! Accusing an upstanding citizen like me of being a dwarf? I'm a halfling, you oaf. It is you, most definitely not anyone else. The salutations and hello and whatnot. I'm definitely me. Were you expecting someone else? The landlord, Sir Frego Antuna. A most generous soul, I assure you. What do you know about Fionn gr uh, Goldgrind? Fionn? One of Mamzelle's girls who laughs like a star's twinkle. <laughs> Not seen her for a ten day. Ten days and four bells to be precise. Not that I'm counting. Fionn has gone missing, oh, don't you think? Missing? Well, I hadn't thought her missing. Just not here. Or elsewhere. Oh. Well, I suppose that's like missing. But with extra words. Indeed, indeed. You don't suppose the murderer who's on the loose got hold of her? Oh, goodness, no. It's too horrible to imagine. Very interesting talking to this guy. <laughs> but I did get more information, supposedly. Maybe the uh, Quilia. Quilia Arvis. Blooming hell, you look famished. 
I've got some vittles that'll warm you right up. Is that how you spell vittles? I'm feeling a bit peckish. What do you have? Have a skeg at these. A skeg. Everything soup. Split pea soup. Sun melon half. And uh, water ha water haven cheese. I'm good. That should do you. Th thank you. There's that sweet mug. <laughs> oh, I like her. I'm looking for Fionn Goldgrind. What can you tell me about her? Fionn? Poor lass. Works her arse off for the mumsel. But don't get much in return. Not seen her mug for a carp sage. I figure she'd gone up the road while the going was good. Kill her on the loose. Cult army marching wee way. Been thinking I might scarp her too. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> She's so good. <laughs> Uh, there's the Flophouse Tenants Log. Maybe the circus would be more Scrawled records of guest cover pages staying with ink, grease, and God knows what else. Ben here, stay indefinite. Paid till 10 days hence. Uh, name fee on gold grind. Stay, stay one month. Paid 10 day late. Grishka, unsure. Paid till five nights hence. Rosanna, uh, stay short as bloody possible. Paid till two nights hence. Flophouse rules. To all tenants of Frago's Flophouse, please observe the following edicts and associated costs with careful, steadfast attention. Fold sheets need across bunks before leaving, 2GP. No big smells, 3GP. No tipping janitorial staff, he gets paid plenty, 5GP. No outside food eaten inside, 2GP. No marks left on latrine, ever. Guess I'll start making, making my way upstairs. Where's the latrine? Lad. You trust these steel watcher thingy me jigs? Trust them as far as I can throw them. Oi, I'll second that. It's alright where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, it's no good, I tell you. Pale Petrus and. Dai da 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 We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mark. Oh shit! Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more. Uh oh! Enough. It's not for the master. It's for me. I spent one hundred years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. Hey, look! It's Casador's thralls. Ready for me. And once the mass is done, and our lord grants us freedom. I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Casador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Well, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dahl. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. We're here to kill Kazador. That's the only way he'll be free. You, you can't mean that. He's playing mind games. He can't raise a hand to the master, let alone kill him. You have no idea what I can do. Um, where is he hiding? Tell me. Brother, please. Talk or burn, your choice. You heard them. Tell me what I need to know. Now, the master is preparing the black mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. I'm going to Bingo! stop Casador. What the hell's happened to you, Astorian? 
What are you? I'm more than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. The sun can't harm me. Cazador can't compel me. I'm the only person who can stop him. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. A uh, random guy, thank you for the, excuse me, 64 months of tier 1. Uh, Captain Joe, thank you for the 84 months of tier 1 as well. They'll warn him we're coming. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador, or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him. And take that power for ourselves. I do like the one guy in the background who's just like, like keeps walking in and out. It's like, should I be here listening to this? Oh no, I don't think I should be. Maybe I should walk out. Oh, maybe I should listen to it, but maybe. Why well, not stay away? Casador can't finish the ritual if he can't find you for ourselves. You mean yourself, you mean. So let's do it! I knew I could count on you. We share that killer instinct. He just appeared out of thin air. Casador skulking somewhere beneath the palace. It'll be infinitely easier to track him down. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Um, where's that guy? Crisco, Rosanna, Drim, Quila. Fion's chest. That, maybe that can give me some uh, some insight as to where. Please. Not for communal use, it seems. It would seem so. All right. Well, let's see what I can do. Best behave yourself. Mayhaps. No, it still makes noise. I think. I gotta wait for him to leave the room so I can I can get into a conversation to him and have a starry and check out this stuff. I just put a bucket over his head. It works in Skyrim. He is gonna. He does walk out of here at some point. I've seen him do it. Maybe if I come up, he he does move at some point. I've seen it. There we go. Oh, Jeebus! I didn't even realize there was an attic. Well, no. Let me let me do the one thing first, and we'll explore the attic. Where is he? There he is. Hello. What if they build? Shit. There won't be another warning. Actually, maybe. I Hold on. What now? Let's see. What if? They build a machine that can drink. Yeah, it's still no. I'm not in the conversation anymore. All right. Let's go to the shadows. There's just money in there. With pleasure. Hurry up. Up. I think I picked up everything in the chest by mistake, but it worked out. I got the diary. Read. A new mostly blank book with only a handful of diary entries. It's, uh, I've not written a diary before. Dosh Kent said it might do wonders to settle my mind. Maybe, uh, distance is what happens when the weans grow up, but it's still hard. My boy's never left the, left the nest before, uh, really never cared to. I only know he's older than most who still live with their mams. 
I've never cared about that, and I don't think he has either. It's just, he acts so differently too. Secretive, rude, brash. Gods, I don't know what, uh, I don't know about this. Maybe Dashkin was wrong. I don't feel better at all. Stern Librarian. Uh, let me see. Baldur's Gate, the Stern Librarian. Fenfian's diary, a uh, chest in Fago, uh, Frago's flop house. She seems very concerned about her son's change of demeanor and some tendency to be away from home. Found a journal in her pleasure room. She seems terrified about something that's happened to someone dear to her and scared that the patrons in the flop house will have noticed. Maybe we'll find the answers there. Hmm. You gotta wait for him to leave again if he's just gonna. Just like old times. Nope, just close. Dash. Oh wait, Dashkin's chest. Quick and quiet. Dashkin was mentioned in her uh, in her musing, so I'm kind of wondering what he might have. A letter. Not everyone subscribes. I'd probably break his well, I can still read it, so. The eyes of Sir Frego Atuna only. Greetings and so forth. I am writing to you on this most suspicious day, marking my sixth year of gainful employ in your service. I have enjoyed and believe I have performed admirably each moment of these duties, and hence, I have a simple request. In re increase in salary of one gold piece, six silver, and nine copper per month. This has been precisely calculated to augment my rather humble lifestyle in accordance with the rising cost of living, and a little bit of extra money for nice bread. I do so love a good loaf. Uh, I would perhaps beho... It would perhaps behove me to mention that Charesse's Caress is offering very competitive rates for janitorial staff at the moment. That's all that sways the decision. If, uh, if that at all sways your decision, though I'm not certain your very generous soul heeds no such encouragement. Yours in health and sickness, as per the terms of my contract, Dash Kent Mul uh, Mulliver. Alright, I can check the attic then. No one stopped me yet. Don't stop me yet. Sure makes me have a crap ton with this sort of stuff. I keep forgetting that's a thing. I don't need any attention right now. No, not at all. I'm gonna open this chest up. Nothing worth grabbing. In the traveler's chest up here. Please. A black diamond. Why not? A locked wardrobe, you said. Shifter's key unlocks the door. Interesting. Int whoa, what? Hello. Attack the. Oh, I guess I don't need to be sneaking anymore. Temple plans. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here too. Oh shit! Messy splatters of deep brown adorn this scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the Dreadlord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing, walk in blood, aspirant. Um. Yeah, Duke B Bellin Stelmane, Elfsung Tavern, Lower City. Killed. Father Lorgan, Open Hand Temple, Temple Rivington. Killed. Dribbles the Clown, Circus of the Last Days, Rivington. Killed. Alexander Rainforest, Office Near the Counting House, Lower City. Killed. Frank Pear Tree, abode uh, near uh, Fielger's Fireworks, Lower City, killed. Cora Highbury, large home near Baldur's Mouth Gazette, Lower City. Uh, Figaro Pennygood, uh, fast, uh, face maker fashion, Lower City. Chef Rovere, Elf Song Tavern, Kitchen, Lower City. Nesha Alicia, blushing mermaid, uh, Lower City. And Vari Van, Tha uh, Van, Thamper, uh, Van Thamper Villa, Upper City. This would be good to take with us. A sheep butchered with creative zeal. I die one to read it, but whatever. Despite the detailed illustrations of muscle and bones, it's quickly obvious that this is no medical journal. The language th throughout is practical but unrefined, describing how to get the best cuts of meat, which bits are considered null chum, and how to deal with a range of stains and odors. Looking closer, you know several scratchy annotations detailing how to adapt these techniques for a more human-shaped body. I mean, I'm gonna gather all the evidence I can here. 
Uh, purple worm toxin and wizard bane oil. Grab both of these. Probably would be better if Carlike had one of those. A pouch. Notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. Investigate. Try to discern the source of the blood. I only have a plus one in intelligence, but it should be fine. I've got the ability to give myself bonuses. Thank goodness. Dribbled suffered. It was horrible. Blood source. A body hidden under the bed. It, it, you know, a DC of 10 to like lift the sheets up, pull out the body. No! Fion! Oh! I know this key. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Bloodstained note. Two hands now, uh, two hands now. Uh, two hands now, two hands. Two of them, more needed. Not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood. More! Pick up. Alright, well, I can at the very least prove the innocence of, uh, of... the, uh, the refugee. Or am I gonna come down here and they're gonna be like, oh, you've bit off more than you can chew, lad. For the reason you were up there. What if? Oh, you were, you were not gonna be all up there. Good. Should probably report to this guy about the issues. It is you. Most definitely not anyone else. The salutations and hello and whatnot. Fionn's been murdered. I found her corpse. Horrible hells. I better lay low. Lower than low. Under low. Under low. Oh, darts? No, th those aren't darts. <laughs> You'd be better off sleeping in the gutter than that den of sin. All right. Into the den of sin. Oh, not Hoots. I want to talk to you, Mum. Your pleasure is mine, sweeting. I found Fionn's corpse. She's been murdered. Murdered? Ye gods, the poor thing. Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. They'll miss that face. Else. The regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. What is dead and you're concerned about money? Sweeting. This is Baldur's Gate. I've seen more murders than a butcher's right eye. There'll be time for tears. Cruel as it is, I must turn my mind to business, or, more precisely, the lack of it. I'm sure you can spare a little something for me, at least. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Talk with the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they're your gift from the mamzelle, and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweeting? Leave. Shamaris's caress. Hi there. I presume you found something interesting to discuss if you're interrupting me again. Uh, Father Logan's murder, murder is uh, part of a bigger plot, a ball plot. A ball plot? You as well. Devella's been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wall up in fear mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one. Even for even her. For her. <gasps> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? I have the note! It's not a theory, I have proof. This document contains in information connecting the murders to the Baalist resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. 
I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Oh no, don't spit it at me. Well, what are you waiting for? You've what what the heck did he do? To solve. Move. All right, well, um, time for my prize. Couldn't get us off your mind, could you? Uh, Mademoiselle Amira said you could offer your services as a, as a, uh, as a gift of her thanks. <laughs> Silly. We are the gift. One free ride with me or my brother. Or perhaps you have greater ambitions yet. Uh, I can't just go for a threesome. Carlac said no. So we're not. Uh, so I guess I'm hiring the lady. Ah, you're lucky, sister. Have fun, soldier. Leave something left for me later, hey? I'll be a little treat for you then. I'll eat you right up. This way. We have a room upstairs over yonder side. Just gonna have my, uh, just gonna have my, my other mouse cursor hover over the hide, um... Just gonna have my mouse cursor hover over the, uh, the, the hide capture. At least Carlock is okay with it. Oh yeah, no, like she, we, like, uh, when I was, uh, when I was talking to these two before, she was like, yeah, I mean, like, do whatever you want, but I'm not gonna sleep with them both at the same time. This is something I only I can do. Oh, are we gonna <laughs> wait? Is the oh no, never mind. I, I thought we were going into the room that had the uh, the the thing that I killed. Oh wait, there's another. There, I didn't. There's more rooms. How did I not notice that? Freaking what? This is something I must do alone. I mean, the mushroom uh, motif is interesting, but can't say it, it uh, brings to mind uh, thoughts of pleasure. That is a big ass bed. You came. Not I'm yet. So pleased. You can never tell who's going to get cold feet. So, now that you're here, what next? <laughs> Cut to a sly smirk on the metaphysical tom, followed by a screen wipe and patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. What's on offer? An experience no one else here will give you. A chance to be embraced in the dark. But what that means is up to you. And of course, there's no charge. Anything for someone who helped find Fion. So, what can I do for you? A tender touch? Some sensory stimulation? <laughs> uh, let's have a sweet sen uh, sweet moment together. Uh, my senses are yours to command. Don't you want something rougher? What do you mean, a chance to be embraced in the dark? It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. There's no judgment in darkness, no shame. 
just the sensation of two bodies together in the moment. <laughs> and nothing for us to animate. Uh, hey, she seems like she knows what she's doing. My senses are yours to command. Then, let's begin. Room's gonna be room's gonna be bathed in darkness, right? TOS! Room's gonna be there we go. In the darkness you feel something touch you. Icy fingers running down the nape of your neck. You shudder as you feel hot breath on your cheek. Just relax. Give yourself over to the sensation. Lie back and let it take you. Her lips meet yours, and you feel your body flush with heat, racing through your limbs, followed by the dancing tingle of her cold fingers. Uh... Try to match her passions. She lets out a whimper as you kiss lower, lower, lower on her body. Thank you. <laughs> mm, thank you. She tastes like a dessert prepared just for you. As she shivers and shakes. You're not sure how long your time together lasted, but it was long enough. By the end, you felt like you were floating in the dark. Utterly at peace. Meanwhile, the DM and all the other players are incredibly, uh, are, inc are incredibly uncomfortable. Are the, do I do I have to re-equip my stuff manually? Oh, just my clothes. Ooh, thank you. That was wonderful. Perhaps you'll enjoy a drink in the bar before you brave the streets again. Is there anything else I should know of this place? <sighs> Even in the best of times, it's an oasis of pleasure and calm in the city's chaos with Baldur's Gate preparing for war the caress feels like the final flicker of a beautiful flame before darkness falls one thing that I really have to admire Larian on with this like I, I is like uh, matching Matching, like, you know, the, the emotions to what's being said. Having that line, having that line delivered, they could have just kept the facial expression the same, and what is that? Hang on, a tick? Oh no, that's probably the balcony of another room. Which I hadn't been to before. Is he just in there? Yeah, I wanted to take a look at the balcony. The Devil's Den. Uh, lockpick. I wonder if I could pickpocket. Uh, why is this one so intense? Why is this such a difficult... What they? Such a difficult door to open. What could possibly be out here? Moving ahead. Absolutely nothing. Target is too far. <laughs> Get me out of here! Whoop! They all jumped off like that. They could have gone around and they all joined me in jumping. Down, down, down by the river. All right. What else am I doing around here? Avenge the Iron Hands? I'm gonna blow up a factory. Investigate the suspicious toys. Maybe he's getting instructions from somebody in the lower city. What else? What other qu Deal with the devil. I don't... Uh, uh, how about no? 
Oh, if you went to the male twin, an option to have... An option was to have a relations on a bed of spiders. Spiders. What's up for discussion? Hey, Hoots. Well, what do you think? Now you've had a swig of the hooch. It's goddamn good, that's what it is. Hells yeah, and blessings to the drunken god. Will you fancy another? Or just hankering for chat? Need, uh, I need something potent, what do you have? Try hooch hooch. Cuts real deep. Yeah, hoots hooch, it's so expensive. Good. Lord. The Menzo Baron's in love trick is to, uh, is to cast, is him casting in large on himself. Oh my God. Five ten for beer. God, that's the deal with the devil. There's this over here. If you are in need of some pleasurable assistance, might I direct you to Charesse's caress? I only deal with referrals. Cillian. Um, eh. I'm not doing anything. I mean, here. Uh, good day to you. Oh, he's embarrassed. He's embarrassed getting directions to Shiraz's caress from such a, a lovely, a lovely dragonborn. Oh, wait, this is the caress. Is all this the caress? to put my hands on everything. Is this the caress? Welcome to Charesse's caress. Yep. Where our libations and sensual indulge. It is, wh what? Ooh, what's down here? Rather curious. Everything the light touches is the caress. The entire town of Baldur's Gate is the caress. It would appear that this this hovel on the side of the of the bridge has been made inaccessible by the earthquakes. A refugee. Surprised I can't just like. Traveler's chest here. Curious what's in it, but I will not pry. Oh, damn it, another one of these. I've had I've had enough issues with these. Steel watchers in operation during the coronation of Lord Gortash. Please refrain from criminal activity and be courteous to the flaming fists. Courteous. Oh, what's going on over here? Trinigan Gazoots. My mate got thrown by a steel watcher. Lucky bugger. The trajectory was perfection. Slazy arm 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 and fear. Excuse me, we're discussing steel watcher gyronetics. A topic beyond your understanding, I imagine. Oh god, it's a hipster. Are you a steel watcher fan too? If so. We meet here every day to discuss their mechanics. Like their physical mechanics or like the people who put them together? What was that? Carms Garms, okay. Co? This is Co! It's Co Carnage! 
br uh, put, put, what do you want? Yay! You spoke to me! Nobody ever talks to me! My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventure I want to be. What do you think? Can I be a fighter? Uh, why don't you actually fight me and I'll tell you. Here's a tip to get started, let's talk more fighting. Follow your dreams and find out, maybe pick a different career. I could not give less of a shit, walk, a de walk away. Uh, why don't you actually fight me and I'll tell you. Um, sh sure. I'll just raise my fists and... Uh, it's no use. I can't do it. Guess old Narber's more of a talker than a fighter. Uh... Here's a tip to get you started. Less talking, more fighting. Right you are. I'll just find something to punch, I guess. It won't hurt, will it? No, surely not. Oh, God. Uh, Nobber! Are you scared? Did you wet your pants? Did you? Oh, I'm going to encourage him. Yes! Nobber has found his calling! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 number, 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 number. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. The metaphysical Tom. Not not less than a decade ago that would have been copyright. What do you think? Am I a good part? You were great. Keep at it. Thank you. I'm going to encourage him. I don't care how annoying it gets. Bless us with your gentle no ho holy uh spirit. No soul. No. We got to go through each one of the classes for him. Powers, your divine powers. I had to a bard. I thought you were enjoying that. Uh, felt a bit lowbrow for Narber. What's a bard gonna do? Sing at you? Ha! No, I've decided I'm gonna be a cleric. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must pray. Our holy, uh, most holy, sacrilege, heretic, God, 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 bless us. <laughs> Please? What God are you praying to? There's more than one? Shit. <laughs> you got this man, keep at it! <laughs> He's going druid! Sniff him back! Fuff, fuff. I'm a dog! Everyone likes dogs. Correct, but nobody likes neighbor. I like you more as a human. You... You like me? Day. We're not done yet. We gotta go through all the classes. Behold, mundane meddler. You step in the domain of a master speller. For I am to be the most mighty wizard. You kind of skipped a few there. What's your favorite spell? Wizard? W I Z A R D. Wizard. I walked headlong into that one. But no spell is it a magic spell. The thing's wizards cast. Wait, there's another step after that. Ugh, rats. Know any fiendish philanthropists, fickle fay financiers, eldritch employers? I want to make a pact. Sure, you're ready to be a warlock to sell your soul for eternity? My soul? I have to give up my soul to become a warlock? <laughs> I love this guy. Um, He's trying out Monk. Um, I love how disgusted everybody in my party works. Um, or looks. Uh, I take it you're trying to be a monk? Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I was in deep meditation, see? Isn't peace and quiet just the best? 
<sighs> I'm gonna be the best monk there ever was. <laughs> Uh Man, there's no the I, I was I was man, I was trying to encourage him. Go back to being silent then. You you can't shut up. I doubt you'll find peace, but the rest of us might if we're lucky. All these are sarcastic. Narba seals his lips, but you feel the pressure of words behind them. The poor thing is straining fit to burst. I can't do it. I have too much to say. You were right. I can't be a monk. I just want to talk. Talking's great. See, you can say words, make friends, tell everyone everything you're thinking and feeling. As he empties himself of his latest slew of thoughts, you take the opportunity to slip away. What are you talking about, slip away? Boo! Bet you didn't even see me coming. I'm a shadow. A master of sneakery. A rogue! Someone talking? I, I hear them, but I can't see them. Oh, oh, I might be too good at this. What if no one ever sees me again? What if no one ever talks to me again? No! If not a rogue, then a ranger. I'm great at chasing things down. What does he have left? He's got paladin fighter. Uh, I hope you're looking forward to those long, lonely months on the trail. You're great at nothing. In fact, you're the worst person I ever met. Look, a displacer beast. Go after it. What? Where? Wait a minute. You were pulling my leg. <laughs> he started with fighter. But you're not getting rid of old Narva that easily. He hasn't done paladin yet. Perhaps the answer was deep inside me all along. An ancient spark of arcana. Yes, I was born to be a sorcerer. I can feel it. Does your magic come from the thrumming scream of chaos itself? Let me, let me focus. I can feel the power deep within me. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. Just, I didn't. Oh. Oops, <laughs> Gust and Cheshton. <laughs> uh... You're not done, Paladin. My liege, I swear to you, an undying oath of absolute devotion. I am but your humble Paladin. I would love it if this is what he's he stuck with, and then we find him later, and he's an oathbreaker. My only command is that you never speak to me again. I'm sorry! I can't do it! I'm just too excited to talk to you! Oh! Oh no. Uh, something inside me feels very wrong. Uh-oh. Did I just break something? Oh, I hope it wasn't anything important. <laughs> are you, you all right? These roles sure are restrictive, aren't they? Maybe the adventuring life's just not for me. I really like talking to you. There's not a lot of people that want to talk to me, so I brought you this present. Here. And this is the part where you feel bad about being an asshole to him. Now what are we going to talk about if not the adventuring life? Wait, what if I mix the classes? Narber, you genius! Hey, no, I wanted to, no! How many, let's see, there's like 12 classes or so. That's like so many combinations. Absolute confidence amulet, performance plus one, intimidation minus one. Narber! Are you worried about Kazador fighting out your back? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. 
Uh, how exactly? How will you strike exactly? He won't be alone. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <laughs> and if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well... All the better. All the better. Hi, Carlac. Hey, you. Emperor's offer. Uh, okay, never mind. Uh, hello, Carmen Pettigood. Oh, hi, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Carm's Garms. I'm Carm. <laughs> well, Carmen. <laughs> what can I do you for? Uh, looks like you. Looks like you haven't got. You've not quite got your patter nailed yet, Carmen. Ugh. If it's empty patter you want, get your clothes from a brother, Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Carm's Garms has you covered. Uh, your brother's in danger. I found him on a, uh, I found his name on a serial killer's list. A killer? That's... God. I have no love from my brother, but that's extreme. He doesn't deserve that. Thanks for warning me, but it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. So you don't get on with your brother? You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk, that I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, dick. Maybe Figaro wanted his sister close. You just lost your dad, after all. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Now, you want clothes or not? Ooh, did I hit too close? Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. Can I preview these clothes on me? Humbly cobbled shoes. Examine. Alas, no. Ignoble hat. Uh, oh, what was I doing, actually? There we go, that's what I want. Blue cozy shirt. I wish I could preview these, then. Umba trousers. Nothing I need here, then. Remember. Cams, Gams has got all your fashion needs. I don't know why I made her Australian. Calms, Gams. Ooh, a lovely dress. Oh, quite lovely. Simply lovely. An easel. It's asking. It, it's trying to make me steal the easel. Think around here, cobalt dye. Just nope. Just dyes and clothes and clothes and dyes. Oops. Get. Oh, for God's sake. What about back hair? Anything I could read that might... The needled book. A wicker chest. Ideas for new... Ooh, wait a minute. Letter from... A scented letter and a letter, letter from Figaro. Dear sister, do take care not to tell your customers to return uh, to face makers. I don't want them confusing your horrendous designs for my own. Hope this finds you blessed, Figaro. And a scented letter. Fancy letter with light musk of good perfume. Dearest Carmen. The work samples in your last correspondence were most exceptionally well received. In particular, those fabulous straw hats were a hit. The League of Basket Makers and Wicker, work, uh, wicker Workers thought the patterns and structures were fabulous. And the hat shapes themselves were not too far from their usual specification. They requested some more samples post-haste with more business to follow. Oh, happy day. Mr. Seamlock, Order of Master Taylor's Glovers and Mercers, Waterdeep. All right, well, uh, let me see if I can find the brother's shop if it's around here because he's got a Lemmy, the, the, the streamer? You have got to check out Dan Thelon's dancing acts. Their leather work is amazing. Interesting, they might have some good uh, light armor then. 
gold tash. Wait a minute. Most interesting. There's something down here. But, unfortunately, it is locked. And people will 100% notice me trying to go in there. Keep your distance down. I just like come on over here and just. Oh, the citizens don't count. Oh my God, they're like the they're like the blank people in uh in um Hitman. Never a dull moment. Can't risk being in the open view. Don't waste a step. Oh, my curiosity beckons. I have just opened this up and, ah. Uh, oh, a wooden chest. Not much to go on there. Yep, so I should close these doors. This does. Bald man's gate, indeed. The gate is bald, as is the man. Let's see what you're Starion, go ahead and pick the lock. 18 again. Let's add guidance to that. Natural 20? Nope, dirty 20. Better make my next move. Ooh! Oh. Uh, send to a Starion. I just want a little look. Wait. I didn't even need to unlock that! Yeah, exactly. Car Carlack and... Good lord. Shh, people are here. Alright, 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 alright. Uh, leather workers. Let's go. Boulder! I hardly know her! Oh, hello! So me. Welcome to Danthilon's Dancing Axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. What the heck's in the ghastly bottles? Don't draw any trouble on old Enthar. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. Y'all right there? There's Tarn. Hello. Something's on my mind. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Uh, let's see what you have to trade. Let me see what you do have, because as a weapon shop, you might have something that I really like, like the Blightbringer. Attacking gnomes or dwarves with this weapon gives a plus 1d4 bonus to attack roll and damage. Pray Decelerator, when this weapon lands a critical hit, slows the, uh, slows the target. Not bad, but also not great. Horns of the Berserker, Seeking Blood, gains a plus two bonus to attack rolls when the creature has already taken damage. Bloodthirst, unarmed melee attacks deal an extra two necrotic damage as long as you don't have your full health. If you don't deal any damage this turn, you take 1d4 necrotic damage until the end of your next turn. At, at the end of your turn. That'd be good for Karlag, actually. What does she have currently for a helmet? She has the psionic, uh, Circle of Psionic Revenge. When you succeed saving throw, it causes them to... Okay, yeah. I, I, that was because I didn't have anything better for her. Gauntlet of the War Master. Oh what? I got to take a break here because I've got a puppy. Uh, I've got a, I've got a puppy whining at me. See y'all in a bit. I've been paused since so I took my last break. Is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food. Oh, she fears what you might do. If you're Good. watching this, if you're watching this as a VOD, uh, on YouTube, I apologize for the cut there, but what ended up happening was, uh, between when I paused and when I came back, um, what I did was I went to the back of the weapon shop, uh, and snuck, snuck in through the alchemy shop, into the back of the weapon shop, went downstairs, found Harpers, uh, most of the Harpers turned out to be doppelgangers, and one didn't, and was basically just like, there is... A special dude that Jahira once found. Um, 
but th whoever is keeping them hostage, um, they do not want them found. Uh, she wants us paranoid, likely to make a mistake. Exactly. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin is more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. Tell her what happened to the Harper safe house. <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach. Separates us from our pack. Until we know who the false facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. Who is this Rashomar you had uh, your Harper searching for? A shame of mine. Redoubled because I did not tell you everything sooner. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mintz of Rashomon? The name is as familiar as Jahira's own. A hero of the time of troubles who saved the city more than once. <laughs> is that the Baldur? Is that like one of the Baldur's Gate? Uh, is that another Baldur's Gate one or two character? Travel with you back in the old days. There was a Baldurian alive who doesn't know that name. Just get to the point. I sense you mean no insult, calling scarce a century ago the old days, which is considerably more insulting. Minsk is an old friend, perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. I suspect, suspect there's more to the story than that. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Minz charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun. Dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us. Or leave him. And live to fight another day. And here you are. You made the right choice. Don't second guess yourself. I'm sorry, Jahir. That's a cruel choice to have to make. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. He was in one so expansion for a card game based on D&D. I forget I which mean one, though. To use you, if you're willing. Infection. Indoctrination. Eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Uh, then let's find him. As simply as that? For no other reason than that I asked? Hmm. Perhaps you two will get along. Oh, the point is moot without a means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. It would seem so. Back into the fray. They have anything on them? That's of use. Kill order. Uh, read. You won't have to wear those Harper smiles much longer. Orin has given the order. Kill the crone, but not before you tell her how her little soldiers died. Preserve some hair or sinew if you can. The chosen would like to string a harp of her own. Morbid. Arrow fire, I'm rather familiar with that. Surveillance notes. 
Cities harbors appear to operate independently, each separate cell feeding into a rank member who oversees the larger network. It's an effective method distributing their efforts and ensuring that each unit is safeguarded against the infiltration of the others. But once already compromised, uh, this structure is their greatest weakness, with no individual harper being able to tell where the contamination began, or how far it is spread. And so while they, while they scramble to rebuild themselves, we carry on with the Chosen's work. What's in here? Potion of Invisibility, several potions, I can take them all. Pick up. Pick up. Put down. Ah, oh, uh, this ladder. The Iron Ladder. There's really no point to going out there. Oh, you know what? I can just push the button and go out this way. Might be a little peeve that I'm back here, but... Hi, Taren! Sounds like you've left some buddies to bury. Plus, I... Uh, best behave yourself. And who the hells are you? And what were you doing down there? Meeting the harpers below. Turns out they were doppelgangers. Of course. Of course they bloody did. So you'd be one of Jakira's then, would you? Oh, oh, don't make a brag. Then. I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before the steel watch squeals by. That's it? No more questions asked? I've had enough dealings with Harpers to know I don't want the answers. Go on now. Alright. Ta-ta. Seems simple enough. There's just doors that lead to open air. That'd be funny if that if they did that. There we go. I didn't want to have to run all the way around again. I'm going the wrong way. I want to actually head this way. Because now I've got the means to enter the lower city. And aside from uh, making a deal with the devil, I think this is the only way I could really go. Blaze Ellen and Fist Guy. You seem like you've got more. Sorry, chum. Can't let you through. Worms rocks closed for the day. Uh, such a bother. What if I were to contribute to the Flaming Fist Orphans Fund? Uh, see this? I've been invited, I'm invited to the ordination. What's special about today? Ordination is what? Lord Gortash is becoming Archduke. All the peers came to pay regards. Hi, cat! Oh, wow, it's one of the coolest people I know. Oh, pshaw. Oh, pshaw. Still trying to make it through, though. Started this, like, when it first came out. Got to around, like, the middle of Act 2 and then haven't come back to it since, so... Really trying to get through there. Investigator Valera needs me in the lower city. A serial killer's on the loose. Valeria? Well, I'm not messing about with a murder inquiry for damn sure. Straight ahead across the bridge. A blind ogre couldn't miss it. We started a bunch and modded in my own personal hell at this point. It's like, because you want to explore every option there is. I mean, uh, for 100 gold, I guess you can change classes if you want, but you also want to go back and, like, experience what the game is like as a different race or class, or make different decisions. Ten characters through Act 1, good lord. Each a different class and race combination. Whoops, I accidentally closed all the doors. Halt. We do not know how you gained entry, but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, dominant, commanding. My most esteemed guest, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You 
are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Kethrick Thorne. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Your city? This city will never be yours. It already is. Granted, there are a few formalities to complete, but... Well, why don't you come and see? Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. What if I were to go in here instead? Is that a poster of Gortash? Berlin Gahorst? anything about what it's like in the prisons <laughs> actually don't tell me I don't want to know uh, my character is half elf uh, wild magic sorcerer not dark so urge this is my this is my first like playthrough that's made it this far I almost believed you this time. Down, it won't happen, I swear. no time to talk I have clients to brief and they're as sharp as spoons oh leave it out I've got a trial coming up, and I need to rememberize my lines. <laughs> he looks like um. Let's rehearse this one. Looks like Ron Perlman. Oh, gonna have to rob so many more houses to pay this bloody lawyer. <laughs> wow, that's not uh, that's not incriminating at all. I ain't saying nothing to nobody until I've had my trial. Oh, mysterious. Let's rehearse this one more time. I guess this is the county clerk. And tell me this is the armory. Not a bloody open house. Fists only. Now clear off. Any fave main characters? I'm married to Carlac. Or at least dating her. I, I got like the, the, the... I found these two like lover's rings and gave one to me and one to Carlac. So Carlac is my beloved. Trade? Do I look like a shopkeeper? This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the Flaming Fist. Uh... Deception. Lord Gortash himself told me to speak with you about my requirements. Were you not informed? Nat 1! Wow! Critical failure! Thankfully, I've got inspiration up the wazoo. There we go, a nice round 30. Course I bloody wasn't. Too busy ordering more of those mechanical monstrosities to tell me. I suppose you can take a look, but make it quick. What do you have? Another armor plus. It looks, it looks shy. It looks like it's covering up, it, it looks like it's covering up its, 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 its boobs and bits. Chainmail plus two, breastplate plus two, scale mail plus two, splint armor plus two, stat of leather plus two, rapier plus one, quarterstaff plus one, javelin plus one, great axe plus one. Nothing really of note here. Stay sharp, stranger. In these times, all we can trust are the blades in our hands. Not nothing's not for sale. Inspired Astarian. Hello, fist. The flaming fist don't stand for trouble. So stay out of it, yeah? That's a magnificent beard you have there, my friend. Calm down, dear. My health go down here? What do you mean can't get here? Oh, it, it's it's an entrance. Worms Rock Prison, and I can no longer rest in here. They are asleep. Maybe I'll speak to them on the way out, but for now. Breaking into a prison seems like fun. They released surprise reactions to how much everyone loved her. Hate was a strong word, Lamau, but definitely expected her to be one of my least favorite romance NPCs. Dang. Man, alive, I rolled very low on that one. Try again with the thieves tools. Man, really? I didn't even have to roll that high. Try again. There we go, good lord. I think I had took you long enough. Free for the taking. Wait, what, what did you 
mean by that? Yeah, she's, she's not moving freely, okay. I have no idea what's down here. I intend to find out. Really nothing down that way, so why don't we take a look down this end into this door here? It's time to press ahead. <laughs> Turn-based mode makes sneaking a blast. Turn-based mode makes sneaking fun. Got to press on. What's the story? Wish I could select everybody at the same time and do that. I don't know I'm here! Holy hell! Jesus Christ! She had a lot of movement! Let's get on with it. Alright. What's cooking? Ugh. Gotta wait for a starian to get closer. Oh no. Light on my feet. Quiet. Nice. I'm gonna move him here and see if I can jump. Hmm. I don't know why the way the way the other. Uh, the way his, like, ghost thing was moving there reminded me of Digital Insanity, or whatever it's called. Virtual Insanity. Uh... That'll make way too much noise, me thinks. Where was the person who was walking around here? They're not on their way back quite yet. Really? Da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, why aren't I using dash? Would have made this go a lot faster. Let's not get caught off guard. If this isn't important, quietly. Uh. Uh, 15. Hi. I'm now before convention season kicks my ass. I'm so excited. I have the best of times. Thank you, cat. You have a good night and uh en enjoy con season. Uh oh. This looks like it's been populated I could go for a good meal. very recently. Uh -huh. Rearranging furniture. Malice. Coat your active uh, weapon in poison. Oh, I can make them blind. Serpent fang toxin. Just a lot, a lot of, a lot of poisons. Nothing else of note or repute in here. Should have worn better boots. I'd like to be able to make it all the way down to the other end, just to see who or what is in the prison, but... I get the feeling that I could probably do that a little bit more diplomatically. Exit turn-based mode, exit turn-based, turn-based mode, get the hell out of here. Any reason you're not sneaking? Oh, please hurry. All right, let's let's talk to Brevin Bright Moon about what's going on here. The guard is fast asleep. Bathed in a ten day. Eat all the onions. Listen closely to the guards babbling. I don't have any wisdom. Tides of chaos and guidance, please. I need all the help I can get. Son of a bitch. You may want will for this one. I shall roll the gate. There we go. Oh man, not at all. Back here again. 
Sal stinks like an old cabbage. Three balls of this, dude. Uh, excuse me. What now? <gasps> Goodness, how embarrassing. I had a heavy lunch. Good Welcome morning. Welcome to Worms Rock Prison, the fifth nail we jail. What's your business? I've never seen a prison with a slogan before. <laughs> prison inspection. Open the door and pray I don't find more sleeping guards. I'm here to see old man Otto. He's my father. Your father? Hmm. Not much of a family resemblance. Well... Second cell on the right. And you tell him, no seconds for supper. This here's a prison, not an inn. Hang on, I'll let you through. <laughs> oh, the door's already open. What the frick? Hmm. Should have been locked. Well, in you go. And don't feed the prisoners. Makes them cocky. Oh, shoot. I need... I gotta, I gotta leave and come back because I need to... I, someone's saying, telling me to bring Will. Oh, Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the... The Harpers have been compromised. A balancing power now unbalanced. To hear a support has been invaluable. We should return it in kind. Um, I'd like you to join me. I'm up for the challenge. You've just got to make a little space. Take Shadow Arts, please. Make I also gotta level him up like five times because I don't bring him well. Will is very attractive, yes. Spells. Fourth level spell. Wall of Fire. Ah, uh, I'll go with Blight. I can replace one of his spells as well with another fourth level. One, I'll take Wall of Fire over... What did I have on him before? Hex is always good. Hellish Rebuke, I never really find time to use that. Scorching Ray. It's pretty dang good. Arms of Hadar. I'd never gotten a whole person to work for me. Defeat. Uh, ability improvement scores. Charisma could use an improvement. Plus his dex for a for an armor boost. I already got him Warcaster. Although I could get him resilient. Yeah, I'll get him resilient and then go for Constitution. So that way he has advantage on Constitution saves for uh, for all that. Ha! Oh, he gains an ultra change of invocation. Uh, radiant damage of flame strike sounds good. Minions of chaos. You can cast conjure elemental uh, with a warlock spell slot. You can cast enhanced sleep without expending a spell slot. Speak with dead without expending a spell slot. Uh, you can now inscribe magical rituals in your book of shadows. Gain ray of sickness, chromatic orb. What? Wait. He's not the sword fighter one? I might I must have uh, changed his class at some point. Dreadful word. You can cast confusion with a warlock spell slot. Sculptor of flesh, polymorph, mire of the mind, slow, bestow curse. Speak with animals, devil sight, fiendish vigor. The mask of many faces. Well, the shadows are the thief of five fates. Uh, let's go minion of chaos. Gain a cantrip, replace a spell, gain a spell. The cantrip of friends, mage hand, minor illusion, poison spray, or true strike. Let's go. Poison spray, why not? In terms of spells, I'm thinking a cone of cold. Warlocks are awesome. They've got limited. They have a. Uh, they've got limited casting potential, but they gain all their spells back with a short rest, um, and they always cast at the highest spell slot, or at the highest level that they can cast. Uh, 
Devil's Eye gives him, uh, yeah, th no, that's a really good one, too, if you're, if you, it, like, no crazy nor cry. If you, um, what is it? If in you, uh, get, I'm getting lost here. No, if, uh, I forgot, oh, yeah, yeah, if, if you, like, cast darkness and you've got that dark vision, uh, going for you, then you're all well and good. So what? You're saying there could really be a dragon down there? Hello. Huh? I don't know about this dragon. I'm not paid to chat. Stay on my good side, yeah? Yeah. I'll stay on your good side. Fist Ivaris. On your way. May Lord Gortash provide. Yes. Lord Gortash. Oh, a skeleton in the dungeon. How original. What do we have here? It's over. He's too far gone. You're too late. It's over. By Avernus. Floric. Will. Is that you? What curse has befallen you? No matter. The city. The future. It's done. Counselor, what happened to you? The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk. Empty as a stair. Your father's a tadpole's puppet, Will. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations. Apostasy. Conspiracy. Sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. The hell's with that. Nothing is over. Not while I still draw breath. I'm bringing you out. Baldur's Gate needs you. Uh, Raven Guard needs you. Not gonna take much persuading. If, if I rolled a two, I would have still succeeded, I'm pretty sure. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Father's words. Indeed. To think I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. And I can only do it with the help of the blade. Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shut her, you'll want their blades. Agreed. I'll find a way to unlock your cell. Hurry. Shoot! The person who I had in my party that can cast a large, a massive disguise spell is currently in, in an unreachable place for me. What do you want? Hi, Dad. To help you escape if I can. I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy. And I mean to keep it that way. Well, I tried. Could you tell me about this prisoner here? Don't touch me. Turn base mode. What the fuck? Time for a lock picking. Have fun with that. Oh, do I control her as I do control her. Oh, she counts as an as Astarian's uh, ally. Okay. And for some reason she's got several potions. Oh. But, well, this guy, is this guy an elf? No. I 
Improvised melee weapon. Fire shield, unarmed strike, misty step, magic missile. Oh, shoot. Um. Astarian. How close are you able to get? Because I'm going to try to do this with as much melee as possible because we are going to... Where is it now? There it is. Dang! Can't slow down. Blood. Okay. Yeah, we got that. Hopefully, frenzying won't give me too much trouble here. Cry about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and yeah. Just gonna go ahead and. What's going on out there? Is there anything I could use as an improvised weapon around here? Go up this way. I don't want this guy to attack. Oh, that is a big area. Wow. Does it go around corners? Holy cow, it's a big area. How many sp She's got plenty of spell slots. Bad luck. I've hypnoticized them. Ooh! I managed to get this guy too! This is my time. Will cannot get close enough to bring that guy down. Okay. Two steps at a time. Two steps forward, I take two steps back. We come together cause opposites attract. It ain't fiction, just a natural fact. <laughs> They are on her. Astarian. Let's get you on this gentleman right here. And turn. I'm gonna try to hit this guy with my staff. See if I can just knock him out. Critical miss! Nice! Watch this. Son of a biscuit. Okay, uh... I'm gonna action surge then. Cause this guy's gonna go down. Uh, he's, he's knocked out but he's still standing. Come on, there we go. Watch this. All right, move over here. If I could lay down another hypnotic pattern in a location that does not hit Karlak. Oh my goodness, that'd just be swell. Saved, damn it. Goal's gonna be to try to get her out of here. So getting her as far as possible would be the best bet. Uh okay, they've got plenty of health here. Uh 
And a one, and a two, and a you know what to do. No time to waste. And a one, and a two, and a you know what to do. -y. Uh, shield blow, body blow, body blow. Ow. Starion. Go ahead and go for this guy. Bend luck. Do not critical. He's no longer hypnotized. That's pretty dang bad, actually. On the victor's path. Ah, uh, Carlock. Go ahead and give a nice sporting stab. And another nice sporting stab. And another and another sporting st the stat and the, there we go. Under their noses. And turn as far as I can go. So much for peace. With haste. Peas were never an option. Ninety five percent chance that I missed. Frick a frack. Uh oh. <laughs> She's not in combat right now. That favors the fearless. Just get her out of sight for now. Good. Crusader's Mantle, Radiant's Holy Powder than bolts nearby enemies, their weapons deal an additional uh, 1d4 Radiant damage. That's not worth it. What else do you got left? Oh, Carlax got this. Okay, so their attitudes aren't great with me. Uh, oh good, and she's neutral. I guess. That guy's still standing. Greater than he ever did. Where- okay, there's- there's the woman I'm escorting. Okay. Uh... Does, does this work if I throw it? I can't seem to right-click it. <coughs> Excuse me. Give to... Nope, nobody I can give it to. Does the invisibility potion work if I throw it? I guess I got a quick save to find out. It seems to have worked out. Heard something that sounded like a little bit of rough and tumble there. No crazy or crime down there. No, 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 not at all. That's not our style. We would never. Also, does would using dash break uh, break invisibility? You don't need the sneaker at the front door? Well, 
do you mean? There's something in this room, isn't there? You can dash and not break invisibility. What the frick is this I see? Oh, that's the top of the cells. No one back home will ever believe this. Time to press ahead. Storage room has a breakable wall. Aha! Wanna dance? Kyalak. Where to? I need you to equip the adamantine mace. And then attack the wall. Immune to necrotic damage. This saves you 20 minutes of turn-based annoyance. Blood. Ye. No, never mind. Another step forward. If I can make this, you can, Counselor Florek. Thank goodness. This is far enough. The way should be clear. I can't thank you enough for getting me out of that damned prison and for giving me courage when I'd all but run out. It's the least we could do. Your faith in this city should inspire us all. Uh, I'm glad to see you. F uh, glad to see you free. You've proven a vital ally. What will you do now? Good luck out there. I'm glad to see you free. You've proven a vital ally. When the flames roared loudest. You pulled me to safety. Most would have let me burn. I won't forget it. I will travel to the upper city. Find what allies I can. You won't fight the coming battle alone. As long as the city stands, I will stand with it. This is my promise. Let's go. Yes, no. But this does lead to a very interesting place, though. At least things have stayed interesting. Let's go ahead and go on down here. Go on, go ahead and go on down the rope ladder to freedom. The freedom rope ladder. Where is everyone going? Don't waste a step. Wooden chest down here. Anything of use? Ooh, trapped, is it? Well, hello. Uh, lock it, please. Don't touch me. Looking like a true survivor. Feeling like a little kid. I'm still standing greater than I ever did. I lockpicked it first. I forgot to disarm it. I almost just went straight for the open. Superior elixir of ar arcane cultivation, oil of combustion. Just so you don't forget. Pretty sure that between the guards, the arrows, and the jugged thunderbolt, I, you'll never survive to read this note. But just in case, I want to make sure that you know you did uh, deserve all. What you did to deserve all this. Remember that shiv you stuck in my leg when you turned me in? That's why. Enjoy your escape while you can, R swipe. I'll, I'll be coming to haunt you in your sleep. Uh, I'll give that to the metaphysical dumb. Very well. The metaphysical Tom. Ambless Gorsta. It's me, the metaphysical Tom.
You know, what, do, what does everybody's armor look like now? Because I've been having them run around in plain clothes for a while here. Well, it's because Minthara's top looks great on Karlak. The other thing, too, is that I want to uh, get uh, Shadowheart back into my into my my good graces here. Just what I need. Shadowheart! Joke's on you, I'm already haunted in my sleep. We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though, I suppose we're used to it by now. Join me! It seems like you have ample company already. Trade places with Will! Dame Aelin, what do you have to say? Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. Can she join my party? How do you intend to spend your newfound freedom? I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Out of camp we go. Oh yeah, uh... What does your armor look like a star? Damn, dude! Don't hide the helmet! We're at loud and proud, the life bringer. Oh, he doesn't do anything with lightning charges anymore. I need to get him a better hat. Hide that hat. Karlak, on the other hand. Looking very barbarian. And as for you... Oh, oh, I still have her in the adamantine stuff. You may want Will for Gortash. Okay, I'm not- uh, well, I'm not gonna be going anywhere near Gortash right now, because I'm still in the lower city and I still got stuff to do around here. Such as the investigation of a serial killer. How about that? Man, this is a long way to get over to these vines. Gortash. Gortash. Hey, Bog, did I wake you up? I don't, I have no idea where I'm going. There's a ladder, there we go. I want Will for Gortash. Our fiery friend. Enter the audience. Well, neither of those I want right now. Hopefully no one cares what I'm doing here. Lockpick! Easy. Oh boy. Guidance, please. Damn. It's fine, it's fine. We try again, we've got plenty of inspiration. There we go. Alright. What now? Oh Jesus, he's right there. It's gonna be an issue. No, you seem fine with me. This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Try to convince them you belong here. It's me, your old friend, the metaphysical Tom. You wouldn't shut the door on a friend, would you? The uniform looks very, uh... Looks, we'll make a very tasteful body bag if you don't get out of my way. Look at me, do I look dangerous? Well, deception's where I shine, because I've got expertise in it. 22! Gonna need that guy, it's gonna need to cast friends on this guy. What? Well, it's me! 
It's me. We're friends. You've been granted free passage. What you do with that privilege is up to you. It's This is a restricted area. Time to explain yourself or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. I what? But I succeeded! <sighs> Acquiesce and follow to prison. What are you doing? We cannot defeat the brain without that stone. Wait, where the- Oh, but everyone else is fine? Oh, for God's sake. Fortunately, everyone's still knocked out down here. Well, I saw everything I needed to there. Watch your back. The next problem is that now I've got to go all the way back to the prison. Time for an achievement? What achievement would that be? They also didn't realize when they escorted me to prison that everybody out here is knocked out. Skeleton got anything? A lockpick, mayhaps? The true life of Lord Gortash. The True Life of Lord Gortash, a biography and manuscript by Vance Farnell, outline of contents, final pass. Enver Flim, an orphan among urchins. Struggle for survival on, on the streets. Juvenile felonies, the Flim rap sheet. Gang gears, the Heapside Reaver. Same face, new name, Flim to Gortash. The Gates Posh Kingpin, an independent entrepreneur. Rivals, all my rivals are dead. Muscling in on arms smuggling. The Gents Day is past. The Black Hand of Bane shakes the bloody hand of Ball. Not even, uh, not even everything is enough. An absolute ingenious plan. The gravitas of Catherick Thorm. Decapitating the Gandhian hierarchy. Don't, uh, call me Lord G Gortash. Note, add section about the steel watch with info acquired from the interviewing that Gandhian who escaped from the foundry. Something about how the watchers are Gortash's most powerful defenders, but also his greatest vulnerability, since they're all controlled from one central nexus. Interesting! Oh, it's such a schlep back to the, uh... Let's be quick. Back to the prison. Yes, I know it's too far. But now it's not. Wait. Is this not where I came from? No, the vines, right. Ooh. Well, I guess now I can go out the main entrance of the jail. Probably just set you down by yourself on honor to lock you in the cell. <laughs> or on your honor that you would lock yourself in the cell, good lord. Ya ta 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 Karlak! I knew you'd come back for me! What's in here? He's knocked out, temporary. Storage room key, or it's simple robe, just place on the ground. Robe can't be unequipped. Well, I what? 
He's- I took it from him, he's still clothed! Oh, whatever, I have the key. Let's get going. Alright, I just gotta grab all my evidence. Break out of prison after being arrested. Aren't you daring? Evidence chests? Nothing! Oh, my- all my stuff didn't equip back onto me, hey? Well, it's just the weapon and the shield, so that's fine. Alright, I'm just gonna go out the front entrance. No one needs to know what happened down here in prison. The guard prepares to attack. Fugitives are to be killed on Oh, I liked her. Well, I could always knock her out. Sounds like fun. I don't need to crit her. Ooh. Oh, I killed her. I've got a long road ahead. I need to find a way forward. Hey, yeah, don't 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 go down into the prison. Portrait of Lord Gortash. Lord Enver Gortash. Handsome, noble, authoritative. He watches over the city, seeing everything. That's why nothing's gonna happen to us. We'll tell them what happened, and we'll be home in their Read. I don't know how to read anymore! I forgot I didn't knock that one out. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Here we Please go. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Hells, not this again. Another. Nothing is resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on Oh, what are you doing here? I gotta go retrieve somebody. Will, you're on! Oh, uh, where for art thou, Will? Gail, Halson, Shadowheart, Will! I need a moment for the two of us. Well met. I'm up for the challenge. You've just take a let's make this happen. Take a Starian's place for now, my friend. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way. Hey. If it isn't little Will, straight to your handler. And I didn't even have to whistle. Mizora, I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. Heard about your father. The Absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. He's upstairs in Worm's Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid party, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Go on up. We'll talk after. Uh, anything else? Go on up, pig. There's the audience hall. I did want to take in more of the city before actually going up to... <sighs> Do it, more of this. Well, was, they're just plus one weapons strewn about here, huh? Lord Gortash, shut up! Shut! Shut mouth! Lord Gortash. Lord Gortash. Lord Gortash. Lord Gortash. 
You all right? What? Oh, uh, what are you, what are you doing in here? You notice the gnome slip a lockpick into his pocket. You're not a fist. Go on, get out, or I'll, I'll wake the others. Uh, sure. If you want me to tell him you're, if, if you want me to tell him you're trying to steal their belongings. Guidance, friends, friends. Sindel Quill, thank you for the raid. Oh, I barely made that one, even with advantage. I'm no thief. I, I was going to pay it back, eventually. I just, I needed the gold. Need it for what? I'm getting out of here, taking a ferry down the coast to get me home. Those bloody crooks at the docks are charging triple, though. Danger money. It's a joke. They've got a point. These are dangerous times uh, to be traveling. Not by boat. It's the army marching towards us that makes things dangerous. My wife said we have to stand and fight, and... And I can't. I won't. I'm not made for this. Uh... Seem capable from where I'm standing. Get a grip. You're a soldier. Act like one. I've heard enough guards. I've spotted a thief. We'll just get you home. You seem like you're capable from where I'm standing. I'm not a soldier. I only joined for the uniform and a warm bed. They're better off without me. I'm scared. All I want is to go home. You shouldn't be in here. No, let me... You shouldn't be in here. Well, I can't do it anymore. What would I have- what would have happened if I gave him the money? Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please make your way to the audience chamber. Uh, hi again, Mizora! Go on up. Pay Gortash a visit. A fate to remember. I guarantee. No reason for that. That's barred up. Oh, that's the Erdinger Different Region of Venture Forth. Yeah, I guess I should go. I guess I should go and uh, and check it out. To the audience chamber. I'm not gonna bother like reloading for it. I am ever going to quick save. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Lord, 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 Lord. Huh. Looking ahead. He gives you a location of a bag of goodies nearby. Lord Randolph Vamus? Lord Petrick Amber, Lady Harold Birch, Lady Silfrey Shash in here, Tiller. Man, there's a. They've got the royal court out here. Kings people, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengar. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him, Gortash. <sighs> this is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. Will is right. We attack Gortash, Gortash and and, uh, and Ravenguard Falls too. Couldn't stand to see the Steel Watch get their hands on you. Let me. Let's wait for a more opportune moment. Fine. I'll wait for now. But that prick Gortash is going to pay. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak. 
come and say a proper hello. My respect! You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up your... Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you, I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the sword coasts infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well, not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding, together we can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. Why is the crown failing? It's not. But it will not follow new orders unless the Netherstones are united to give the command. When it finishes executing its current orders, it will be free to do as it wishes. That will be bad for everyone. The crown's magic turned the brain into something the world has never seen. A nether brain. Its power is immense. Once it is freed from its shackles, I doubt we'll ever be able to bring it under control again. What kind of understanding do you suggest? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Neverstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. What are you getting at? Perhaps she and I could be allies. You've met her assassins. Efficient killers, by all accounts. I know you survived previous encounters. But she won't relent. Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. Well, you know. She's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. You want me to believe you mean no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath, sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the Absolute. And my father? Your father will do whatever you command him to. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? Cool. We can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. <laughs> ah, quick save. Get some insight here. Oh, I get no bonus to that. Oh my god! Gortash's eyes blink in a consistent rhythm. He stands calmly, confidently. He fully intends to share his kingdom with you. Oh, it seems none of you can be trusted. 
you, Orin, Kethrick. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Hmm. Hmm. To hell's with your pact. What a shame to refuse the power of a god. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter. A faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain of salt. This is Gortash we're talking to. Let this be a warning. Orin is the spark in a powder keg. We make an alliance, or the city is made ash. I will give you time to reconsider. Tread carefully. Remember, you must do what it takes to survive. Even if it means striking a deal with the enemy. You're on your own, Gortash. Oh, but I most certainly am not. Now, come. Be witness as I make history as the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. I wouldn't dream of missing it. <sighs> Fine, let's get this over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash. Swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. Lord Enver Gortash. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same by word, deed, and decree so that none may suffer? I swear. Gathered guests, grant ye consent. Prepare to object. Don't. You will only invite his ire and your own death. For Will's sake, I need to keep quiet. If I stop this and say that Gortash and Ravengard are with the Absolute, then it'll invite not only ire upon me, but also potentially on, uh, on Will's dad. So I am curious what happens if you object. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. Sage, Coronation of the Dreadmaster. Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Have you come to behold the new dawn? Uh... I'm here to help you. Florek sent me. Help me? Ah, the Black Widow caught you in her web. 
Floric chose shadow over light. Her betrayal burned deeper than the fires of Avernus. She's been punished for her lies. Don't let her get to you. The Duke wants to keep Floric's location a secret. Little does he know that you've already found and freed her. Uh... By the gods, what have they made of the city's great hero? What is a hero, if not an actor for the greater good? Faerun suffers in darkness. Tear has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. Gortash and I will ignite the final spark, and that, true soul, is the greatest of goods. Hey! So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? Uh, he seemed like an absolute fraud in a very nice coat. Frankly, I'm impressed. He's wormed his way into the most power position in Cabal's Gate. Can't wait to flatten him. <clears throat> Not if I get to him first. How could all these people cheer for him like that? Can't they see what a chance say he is? People are scared, scared to do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this. And it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. You've a soul coin to Karlak? No, I haven't. I've never done that before. What the heck is with this pose? Dearest Karlak, I'd busy myself finding Orin if I were you. I'll still be here for any unfinished business once you've secured your camp. That's it? That's all you have to say to me? Were you hoping for something else? A word of wisdom? A hug? Thanks to you, I don't hope for things anymore. I just take whatever it is I want. See you soon, motherfucker. You most certainly will. Hey, Will! Your parasite binds your mind to Will's. Your memories of talking with Ravenguard become his. You spoke with my father. Incredible. To hear his voice speak those words, like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Uh, that's, yeah, that's it. Save and give her three. Uh, doesn't she explode or something? Gortash. Gar, Charlie Ho, Tip. Gar, Charlie Ho, Tip. Ooh, a ladder! What sayest thou up the ladder? A Patriarch! Some Patriarchs are around here! But I may climb this ladder to go not as high as I thought I would, dang. No, I didn't want to talk to Shadowheart! An imposter in our ranks. If this is true, it could be anyone. You, me, well, not me, I know who I am. Perhaps we shouldn't take Gortash's word for granted. But if he speaks the truth, we need to be careful. Orin could have eyes and ears on us right now. Uh, I'm gonna go back to camp and try to, uh, and try to, uh, to... Are you bad?! I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. But please, don't look at... Please, don't look at me. Jahira, do you have any ideas about this imposter? Is it possible for me to buy the imposter now? A true pleasure to watch you tell the Archduke 
exactly where to put his alliance. One cannot embrace a viper, only get entangled by it. And we learn something. One chosen thinks to send us against the other, while they sit safe behind their defenses. Good. Ketherick thought he was safe, too. Plus 1d4 while raging. Interesting. What do you think of this warning of the doppelganger in our camp? It would be irritatingly true to form, would it not? Mm. A harper learns to doubt. To peer through every smile, question every look. Eventually, you find what it is you fear, whether it is there or not. When we cannot know, we can only trust. But then, that is exactly what a traitor in our midst would say, isn't it? You mentioned there might be another way to find Minch. <sighs> there might be, but mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Leave. Galak? Darling? Uh, no. I just wanted to make, see more about the imposter in our midst. There's the statue of me naked. Bingo! Is there any small clothes on it there or not? Legion of Corn, thank you for gifting five tier one subs. I appreciate that greatly. Bingo! Oh, and it's doing them each individually. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword. Be most welcome. Lee. Bingo! Keeping very well, I hope. What do you know? Uh, what will you do now that your uh, I'd like to know what happens between you and your father, Catherick? I've already seen those. Bingo! Withers. Bingo! I just outside of fate spin. Bingo! Dost thou require a new ally? Uh, where's Arabella gone? The girl has left to hew her own path. She left you a letter. Thou couldst read it. Hast thou other business? Letter from Arabella. Think is still fresh and the letter's drawn in careful hand. Hey you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I, d I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. For another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another, another, you found out what happened to Mom and Pops. I'm on my own now and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. As far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate, so I'll head there first. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget. Arabella. Gather your allies. Maybe Scratch could suss him out. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Hope you're keeping well, friend. Pet the dog! Pet the dog! Dog, 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 dog. I, I thought, I, whatever. Uh, back, no, wait. I wanted to bring uh, Astarian back into the party. Astarian! There he is. So, we have a uh, shape changer at our camp. Hmm. Good luck finding, huh? You could watch out for anyone acting strangely, but... Good luck finding her. You know the lunatics we camp with. Good luck finding her. Perhaps if you Are they referring just to Orin in general? Or, two, or is the star just referring to Orin in general? Groups. Excellent. Good luck finding her. He's talking about Orin. Okay, I thought maybe... Gale! Gale, are you the imposter? I figure it would have been somebody from, like... If Gortash is to be believed, then even our camp isn't safe from Orin's influence. You might want to confirm the veracity of his claim. Or at least, clean up the mess. A 
shapeshifter infiltrating our number. Like a cuckoo creeping into the nest. Hmm. A dire threat, if Gortash indeed spoke the truth. <laughs> we had a whole half a stream for- Have you heard anything from Thaniel since we moved on? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. That'd be nice. All right, uh, back out there we go. Back into the fry. How much can I explore? Well, not there, obviously. I see a room there, off to the side, that I cannot access. I you want to see what doors I have access to. Oh wait, I've been in this room before! That's the one that got me sent into jail! Seventy percent sure you know who it is. Is is that based on your own experience in the game, or based on like, or based on what you've seen of me play this? Ya ta 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 ta. That is the wrong way. Ya ta 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 ta. That was the wrong way. Down, 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 da down, down. Down, 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 down. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. And to think the drama's just started. Oh, I probably should have had a will for this. Gortash has had Will's father relocated. That was fast. I thought Gortash would have more use for the Duke in Worms Rock. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game. A murderous one, the way I hear it. Raven guards good as dead. And to think... There's no way to save him. Or is there? There it comes. I'm not giving up on the Duke. Tell me what to do. My, aren't we eager? Let's meet Will in your camp. Work something out. The Duke's life depends on it. Snap. Snap. All right, I guess we're meeting in camp. Do I gotta make it nighttime? Or can I just go up to, there we go. I just go up and talk to Will. Hi, Will. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Zora's up to nothing good, that's for certain. I have no idea, but I can't wait to find out tomorrow night if we're lucky. Your father's involved, which means it's worth hearing out. Where's Gortash thinking your father, do you think? You don't have a single clue? She's your patron, not mine. I couldn't even fathom a guess. Though, I doubt we'll need to wait I picked four answers. on that one. We'll have answers soon enough. Until then, may my father keep safe. Alright, well, uh, I guess we're going to bed. And the day. Didn't really use that that many spell slots, so I might as well hear what Mizora has to say before I move on. In the inky black well does she rise in a puddle of 
Crude oil! Please introduce me to your friends. Fina, Cirrus, arbiters for the hells, exemplars of justice. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Sisters. Infernos contractus te vocamos. Infernos contractus te vocamos. Infernos contractus te vocamos. Latin, Latin, and more Latin. Your contract, Will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. What do you propose? Uh, then break it already. Well, it's need to wait six months. No contract is ended without sacrifice. A cost must be paid. I'll give you my horns. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one. I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two. I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. What will happen to Will's powers if he breaks the if he breaks the pact? Addendum F. The absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the absolute is slain. She loves her contracts. Do the right thing to give yourself your save your father while the city will need to help rebuild. Let your father die when the city's free. You can take his place. Break the pack, Will. You just you deserve your freedom. You damned wretch. Father. Do it. Break the pact. Fiat Ita. Fiat Ita. Anima ad beator. And just like that. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. An achievement, Breakwell's packed with Mazora. I should probably go talk to Will. Yeah, I probably need someone to talk. Oh, and Mazora just hangs around, huh? God, I spent seven years choked by Mazora's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. I never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. Uh, a fantastic power play with your father gone, he could rise up and take his place. You're your own man now, Will. It's better this way. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The blade will be guiding his own hand. 
But freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. Your father's not dead yet, Will. Maybe there's a way to save him. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. What's our next step then? We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds. And the city. From the brain. I see it kind of like in a grander sense here. Duke Ravengard dies. Um... But neither his nor his son's soul are bound to anything. Mizora's just hanging around camp. I can't believe it. Mizora, you were the traitor? Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. What a bang. You force Will to make an impossible choice. Will's not a child. You need to start see, uh, treating him with respect. Can't believe Will actually s sacrificed his father to save himself. Three is such a piece of shit thing to say because you're the one who convinced him that. Will's not a child. You need to start treating him with respect. I beg your forgiveness for such undue impertinence. From now on, I promise him the same measure of respect he's shown his father. Oh. I almost forgot. Will sold his father's life for his freedom. <laughs> My mistake. I don't get it. If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? You've left Karlak alone. Didn't you want her dead? What changed? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. I don't get it. If Will isn't your warlock, why stick around and give him power? The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. What can you tell me about the Hells? The nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first Hell my home, Avernus. My mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it. The delicious agony of it all. Of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, you never told me how the Absolutist captured you. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. Jeez. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. I'm gonna be staying, I need something in return. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand.
Well, then that's settled. I, I didn't know it was possible to bump ug uglies with Mizora. Someone in camp still wishes to speak to you. Guile. On my mind. She has uglies to bust. Must clean the crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does. Is that all you had to say? Well then. Down, 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 down. Uh, split. Ding, 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 ding. Ah. It took a while to come back out of that, so I was a little concerned. Alright. Back into it we go. And since we're about to head into, like, the lower city of Baldur's Gate, I think this is the lower city coming up here. Since we're about to head into somewhere new, I think I'm going to end the stream off here. So, yeah. Whew, that was fun. I want to keep playing, but man, is it late. How late is it exactly? It's almost 2 in the morning. Good lord. I've got 10 sorcerer points to work with, and that is... Just grand. Let's go back to the intermission. I'm gonna wait on uh, on doing fan art because I want to give the artist who made the pieces their due, and can't really do that when the uh, when the the when it's this late and there's not many people watching. Anyway, let me go ahead and save this real quick. Save game. New save. Save. I have to start deleting saves because my cloud, because the uh, it, it uh, I'm unable to upload any of my saves to the cloud anymore. But yes, yes, it was fun. Uh, I should see if anybody's online slash if anybody else is playing this. Send you over to them. Who knows? They might be farther than I am. Alrighty. Twitch. Who's online at this ungodly hour? Of course, every single time. Because she always streams late. What should our raid message be? I think I want to load this up. Did we have anything in particular? Oh, shoot. Twitch is being real unresponsive right now. Down by the river? Down. Anything from Among Us we could raid with? Down, down, down by the river. Down, down, down by... We'll just do down by the river. Up down by the rover, down by the river. Raid Haruka Karibu. She's currently playing Honkai Star Railed. Uh, 2.1 just dropped. She is playing it. She's having a good time. Give her some of that Thomas love, and I will see you all back here tomorrow for either this or Fire Emblem Engage. See you all then. Later.